The 2024 Triple Crown season has ended without any horse fatalities, in stark contrast to last year when there were 12 deaths from the end of April to the end of May. Today, the Horse Raising Integrity and Safety Authority, also known as HISA, released its first quarter metrics report with promising results. Bossy Prokos joins us with the details. Yeah, guys, since its creation two years ago, HISA's racetrack safety program has collected about two and a half million veterinary records in its database. Racetracks that ran races following these rules in the first quarter of this year reported a dramatic decrease in horse fatalities. Spring meet 2023 was unlike any other at Churchill Downs for all the wrong reasons. Five horses died before Derby 149, two on Derby Day, and then five more after the Derby, resulting in 12 horse deaths. After the 12 deaths, the Horse Racing Integrity and Safety Authority, also known as HISA, called an emergency summit to better understand the events surrounding the deaths. You know, our number one priority is to keep the horses safe, and, and that also keeps the riders safe because the biggest risk factor for a jockey getting injured is the horse getting injured. According to a new report, HISA says that in the first quarter of 2024, it saw a decrease in horse racing fatalities all across the nation, down 38% from a year ago. Last year, HISA inspected the Louisville track without finding any real problems or answers as to why 12 horses died. But officials say a variety of new safety measures were crucial in this year's racing. It's really gratifying to see that like all the hard work, all the sort of brainstorming, all of the technology that we're trying to deploy seems to really be having an effect. And we've just got to continue to make sure that we, we keep bringing that number down and we keep working towards protecting the horses. And things are looking up for the safety of race horses in the future. Thanks to these new measures, HISA worked closely with Churchill Downs to ensure that the track is up to code and also clarified some rules around if a horse should be raced based on existing injuries. They're even bringing in artificial intelligence to make sure these new safety measures are effective as possible. We also started using for the first time a model that looks at every horse against 44 different risk factors using AI and machine learning to try to identify horses that are at risk. And HISA plans to release a separate anti-doping medication control program report that will come out in just a few weeks. Allie. Thank you, Vasi.